And if I was to do that, allow somebody to, to, to dominate my faith or to rule over me, it would be oppressive. It would take away my freedom in Christ. Because you know what? It's all, it all comes down to the Spirit. The Spirit of God. That's where the law is fulfilled. It's not in obeying all these little commandments. It's in the Spirit of God. And you know what that Spirit is? It's love. And all of God's commandments are out of love. He gives them to us so that we might benefit ourselves, you know. But um, this corporate world that we live in, this is the part of the devil's world, you know. The whole setup they have, you know. And they, and they join Freemason lodges and they get ahead in the world. It's all run by the devil, Babylon the Great is at the head of it. You know what Babylon the Great is? It's not false religion. Yeah, it is false. But what it is, it, it is the Jewish religion. They're the ones that invented Freemasonry. That's why the Freemasons use the word Jehovah. That's why the Jew, because it comes from the Jews. And they take the name of God in vain. But, um... You know, the disciples of Jesus Christ need to be free, and and when though when we ha when we have forces that come against us and try to enslave us with their ideas or their uh, con artistry or their demonic uh, cult type of things, we don't accept that. You know why? Because Jesus Christ says, "I give you power to tread on scorpions." Over, on snakes and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. All the power. And nothing shall by any means hurt you. You know. So God doesn't want hypocrites. He doesn't want people to behave a certain or like robots. He is interested in the heart. And he's love. And when he touches your heart with his love, then you know what you have. And that's what's real. And that's what... Pray. That's what, the people that know God's love are the ones that truly praise Him. But those that are just living in uh, uh, in, in obedience to man, they're not experiencing the love of God. God is not a man. Jesus Christ is a judge, and He gave His life for you, you know. And He's a merciful High Priest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am mild-tempered, lowly of heart, and you will find...